Welcome to Benjamin TV. Today I'm gonna make one of my more popular dishes from the vlog, carbonara. And this is carbon a spaghetti carbonara. It's delicious, it's simple, and you know what? Anybody can do it, and I'm gonna get right into the ingredients. Alright, first off, I've got spaghetti, okay? I've just I'm just using store-bought barilla. If you want to use organic, you want to use the fancy stuff from the farmer's market, be my guest. I'm just using this regular spaghetti. I'm also using egg. I'll be using two egg yolks as well as one full egg with the white. Um, I'm also going to be using Parmesan cheese. If you can, get the fresh stuff and grate it yourself. Also, I'll be using salt and pepper and olive oil. Now, optional, because I know a lot of Italians are watching this and saying that's all you need. Optional, if you want to take it to the next level, the Benjamin TV level. I've also got sliced up garlic and heavy whipping cream. The sliced up garlic just gives it a little bit more flavor as well as the uh, heavy cream just makes it a more silky, smooth texture that I love when I serve carbonara. Um, but you can totally take those two out. Last but not least, I also have pancetta. Now, the pancetta you can substitute with bacon if you don't have pancetta available. Just make sure you go ahead and slice that up nice and thin. All right, the tools that I'll be using is obviously something to boil the pasta in. Make sure you fill that with plenty of water and get that to a rolling boil before you even start cooking. I'm also using a 12 inch frying pan. Uh, this is a saute pan, but you can use a regular frying pan. Also, you're gonna have a whisk to whisk up your sauce. You're gonna also be using tongs. I have a ladle, I've got a spaghetti ladle. Also have a large spoon. All right, first thing you're gonna do is slice your pancetta nice and thin. If you're using bacon, just cut that across the bacon and slice that thin as well. Next, you're gonna go ahead and crack your eggs. Remember, you're gonna use two egg yolks, so you're gonna separate the egg yolk from the egg white. Do this by tossing the egg yolk back and forth between the two shells. Next, you're gonna go ahead and shred some cheese. At this point, you're gonna go ahead and take your eggs, Parmesan cheese, black pepper. If you're using heavy whipping cream, go ahead and whisk that together in a bowl. First of all, make sure you have your water boiling, okay? Because you're gonna get your pasta cooking as soon as possible. Also, get your 12 inch pan heated. Now, I like to cook it on the low heat because when I make pancetta, pancetta cooks fairly easily. And you wanna make sure it's on a low heat, but make sure your pan is nice and warmed up, okay? First off, you're gonna put some olive oil into your pan. Next, you'll put that pancetta. Let the pancetta go ahead and cook for about mm, five to 10 minutes, depending on how it cooks and if you're using bacon. Once it gets crispy but not burnt, go ahead and turn the heat off and put that to the side. At this point, you're ready to put your pasta in. Make sure the heat under the pot is at the highest you can get it and make sure it's at a rolling boil and put your pasta in. Follow the directions of your pasta. What you're gonna wanna do is make sure about two or three minutes before your pasta is done, you're gonna turn the heat back on, on your 12 inch frying pan, and what you're gonna do at this point is go ahead and throw that garlic in there. Let that sizzle a little bit, but not to the point where it's too brown. Just about a minute or two before your pasta is done, you're gonna wanna go ahead and turn off the heat. The reason you're gonna do this is because you're gonna continue cooking the pasta that is just barely al dente, which is undercooked, in the pan with the pancetta or bacon. Go ahead and drain your pasta very well. Once that's drained very well, throw that right into the pan with the meat. Go ahead and mix that around for a few minutes on a medium heat, and what you're gonna do is take that large spoon, ladle in some of the water that you use to boil the pasta to make sure that your pasta doesn't stick to the pan, and that's gonna be the base of your sauce. After a few minutes of cooking on that medium heat, you're just about done. Remember, you don't wanna burn this, but you wanna make sure you cook the pasta through because it was al dente. Go ahead and add your pasta to the bowl and you're going to pour your egg wash right onto the pasta. Make sure all the bacon pieces are in there with the pasta in that bowl and mix thoroughly while adding parmesan to taste. You can also add more black pepper if you'd like. At this point you're just about done. Go ahead and plate it and you're ready to eat. A few notes. I didn't use salt in the boiling water because the pancetta is so salty and same goes for bacon that you really don't need a lot of salt in this dish. Also, if you're worried about the raw eggs, 
the pasta and the bacon is so hot from the oil that when you put that egg into the pasta, it's going to cook it slightly and I wouldn't worry about it. The final touch to this carbonara, I like to pour a little bit more olive oil to give it some elegance and ready to eat. Alright, there you go. That's some carbonara. I've got my friend Guy here from dvestore.com. He actually helped us with the lighting today. I wanted him to uh, be the taste tester. And uh, I've got green onions that we actually put as a garnish. I got this idea from uh, Cooking with Dog who was the inspiration for this recipe. Go ahead and you can put some of that on there. Is it good? It's really good. So anyways, that's Benji Man TV. Make sure you subscribe, comment below on other videos you want to see, and carbonara. Very gradually, and even though I have the measurements below, because all cheeses are different,